What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the Easy Ajiran event details have now been released and I thought it'd be interesting to go over everything together so that we're all on the same page and ready to go once this thing drops in... should be like a day or two from now. So just based off my first impressions, it looks like it's going to be a fairly easy but also super, super long event. And that's because, you know, for most easy events, we're used to the first 30 levels being the main levels where we get all the major rewards, and then we can just call it a day from there. But for this event, if you want all the main prizes, the big prizes, you will have to clear the first 100 levels. And I know it sounds absolutely crazy, but I'm going to do a breakdown for you right here, right now, so it makes a little bit more sense. So basically, for the first 20 levels, we'll be getting 150 small orbs of each type. Another thing to keep in mind is that for every 10 levels that you clear, he'll get a little bit tankier. So he'll start off at 15% damage reduction. At level 11, he'll go up to 20% damage reduction, and then he'll go up to 25%, 30%, and so on and so forth, which, you know, does make a lot of sense. So going down from here, between levels 21 to level 40, we'll be getting 90 medium orbs of each type for clearing every level. And at this point, he'll be at 30% damage reduction. And then when you clear levels 41 to 50, you'll get 15 large orbs of each type per level, and he'll go up to 40% damage reduction for the last level. So overall, a ton of orbs, freaking awesome. I can't complain this about this at all. But I'm sure there's one major thing, one huge thing that's missing from this rewards list that you've noticed by now. That's dragon stones. So we actually don't get any dragon stones for clearing any levels in this event. In the past, we're used to getting at least 30 stones for the first 30 levels, but not for this one. This one's like, nah, no stones for you. So that honestly kind of sucks, but don't panic too much because we will be getting daily missions as well as limited time missions, which do give us stones. So, you know, I'll get to those in a second. Just hold on tight. Now, past level 50, between levels 51 and 100, we'll be getting one Sleepy Kai of each type for a total of 50 Sleepy Kai's, which is why I said to get all the major prizes, you will have to clear the first 100 levels, and I do include those Sleepy Kai's as major prizes. Even though they're not full-fledged Elder Kai's or Grand Kai's, they're still Kai's, and I'm still going to be personally clearing the first 100 levels to get those as well as the orbs. But actually, I'm very curious to hear in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys plan to do. Do you want to do just the first 50 levels to get those orbs and then call it a day? Or are you going to be like me and do at least the first 100 to get those Kai's as well? Although, honestly, the success rate for those are absolutely horrible. It's supposed to be 30%, but out of like 20 Kai's I've used, I've only gotten maybe three of them to work. But nonetheless, just for the completion purpose, I'm still going to get those Kai's through the first 100 levels. Let me know in the comments down below what you plan to do. Now moving forward over here, there's some more important information or at least useful information. Total rewards by completing the first 50 levels, you'll get a total of 3,000 small, 1,800 medium, and 150 large orbs of each type, which is amazing. It's a significant amount of orbs and it's almost enough to get one, one unit of each type to rainbow status. Now past here, of course, 50 Sleepy Kai's of each type, or not each type, just 50 Sleepy Kai's in total and of which like five of them will work, but you know, that's that. <laughs> and also beyond that, if you want to do levels 101 to 999, which I don't even know if it's, if it's possible, but if you want to clear beyond level 101, you will get a total of 899 of these training items. Uh, but like I said, I don't think anyone cares about it. I'm personally not going to do it. <laughs> so yeah, that's not really too important. And then additional information here, you are unable to use Dragonstone to revive or continue if you are KO'd in the event. Makes sense, pretty standard for an easy event. Characters from the representatives of Universe 7 category take less damage, mitigate Jiren's damage reduction, and also cause increased damage. So basically, if you bring units like UI Goku or SSB Vegeta or Angel Golden Frieza, they will all have an advantage in this fight. But unfortunately, if you want to bring a team of actual, like the actual category team of representatives of Universe 7, you will have had to pull the LR Goku and Frieza, which I don't think a ton of people will considering it's a regular banner and the rates are going to be pretty low. But the good thing is you don't actually have to bring this team because like I said, I think it's going to be a fairly easy event. So even if you just bring a pretty strong heroes team or a pretty strong villains team or, you know, like Realm of Gods, um, Patara, etc., they should all be able to clear at least the first 50 to 100 levels with no issues. Beyond that, I'm not really sure. But, um, you know, like I said, not a lot of people will have the LR to run the full category team. So... It's good that it's not going to be super hard up until the first 100 levels. 
beyond that, Jiren has additional damage, no additional damage reduction against specific types, which is good. The stages cost zero stamina until you beat them. After that, they cost five stamina to replay. You can only replay the following stages: 101, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. And you cannot bring any items. So, no surprises there. That's all good. And this is. You know, the other big thing that I think a lot of you are anticipating now, the missions to get stones, because like I said before, no stones are clearing any of the levels, which sucks, but starting on the 12th, which is, I guess, today after reset, we will be getting three daily missions per day to get up to six stones a day for clearing easy events once, three times, and five times. And there's also going to be limited time missions. I'm pretty sure these are limited missions where you can get two stones for clearing a level 25 or higher within two minutes and 50 seconds. And also you get two stones for clearing a level 50 or higher stage and another three stones for clearing a level 100 or higher. So maybe... Yeah, basically, in total, we'll be getting uh, seven stones here, as well as six stones per day. So that's actually pretty good. Even though we're not getting the 30 stones initially for clearing the first 30 levels, if you add all these up together, it will definitely exceed the 30 stones we would have gotten without these missions, because these ones, the daily ones, last for a week, right? So yeah, it's pretty solid. Overall, we'll get it. We'll be getting a good amount of stones. And if you also add in like the new boss rush and some other things that are coming on the way. Uh, we're getting a good amount of stones for the second part of the anniversary, so it's all good. But that's pretty much all the info I have regarding this event. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know, you know, like, it's not going to be too hard, but there are going to be a lot of levels, so it's going to take some time. And you know your boy Tiger is going to be streaming this, so make sure that you keep an eye out on my community feed, and also uh, on Instagram as well if you haven't followed me, at Media for the latest up-to-date news about what I'm doing. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for this event to drop. And also, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video as well. If you are watching me for the first time, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that notification bell because YouTube can be pretty freaking dumb sometimes and they won't tell my subs that I have a new video up or I'm streaming or anything like that. So if you want to keep up to date with all of my latest videos, make sure that notification bell is on. But aside from that, that's all from me today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.